Hey guys, welcome back for another episode. Today I'm going to show you how to remove your saddlebag off your GL 1500. Today we're going to be moving the left side, driver's side I guess you can say, to, so that way we can check our brakes at the same time while we're removing this and everything. But before we get started, I'd like to say thank you to all my subscribers. We've just hit 100, actually I think it was 107 the last time I looked, or at the time of this video was made, hit 107, I want to say thank you. Thank you for really supporting the channel. It really means a lot, guys, that you guys are sticking around and you enjoy these videos, and I'm glad that some of y'all are getting good information and getting the encouraged to work on your own bikes and everything. And like I said, I'm always here to help you guys out with, because we're all bikers, we're all brothers. So that's what we do and everything. And I'd like to say, if you'd like to support the channel, you can go look at my YouTube channel page. There is a um, little donation thing there if you'd like to donate to the channel. Uh, we're trying to work towards getting a project bike. A bike either for our parts, so we can do, I can show you how to do the sense of repairs. Or, you know, one way we can fix up and make videos and sell and the channel can make some money. Or if not, if you don't, you know, I don't really want to ask money from anybody. It's not my style. But if you feel led to, you may. But another way you guys can help out is um, by watching my videos and watching the ads. I know they're a little tedious and everything, but it, you know, it does help. You know, it gets 20, 30 cents here. Not a whole lot of money, but it does help out and support the channel when you watch all the ads and watch my videos and, and everything. So enough of that, guys. But again, thank you for all my subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. I will do a lot more Goldwing videos and other tech tips on car repairs and we'll do tractors and Whatever we can find that needs to be fixed around here is usually what we cover. But about 75 of what we're going to try to do is our gold wings here. All right, guys. Without any further ado, we'll get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this panel off right here. Okay, and only because the um, these two tips in here are connected to the saddlebag here. So let's start by taking that off. Once you got that off, you want to, if you still have these on your bike... You want to take these little deals out here. You may need a little flathead here. Let me see if I can get in there. And that way you can get to the little screws in there. You should have two of them. So don't lose these. I'll get a container here in a minute. But you got one there and then one over here. Okay. So you're just going to pop those off. And then you'll take this off. And then you, as you can see it is a Phillips. So let me get that off. All right. Once you get the screws out, it should just come right off. And I still didn't get that one. There it goes. All right. That one came off. That one goes in there a little deeper. It's recessed in there a little deeper. Let me, um, all right. Let me see if I can show you guys. You see these holes here? Once you pay close attention to those, one right there, and you can see the, um, let's see, is it not this side? Yeah, there's a little tab there, that tab right there, and everything. This goes back in a certain spot. As you can see, that hole right there will go back into that and that tab will go back in there all right this is very important when you put it back on but it gets on there straight and everything lines back up and everything okay now that we got that open let's open up our saddlebag okay and before we get started okay i guess i need to empty my junk out of here but before in case you guys ever have a cable that breaks I want to show you something. I don't know if you guys, probably a lot of you guys know this, but in case you're new to the Goldwing 1500s. Oh, middle one, there we go. Oops, I forget about these arms. They gotta fold out. There we go, once we get it fold out, we can lift it up. And don't ask about the gloves. I was working on some other car and I was using gloves for a lot of oil mess and everything. But, let's see, where is it? Oh yeah, I have a cover over this. Does the other side have a cover? Yeah. Okay. If you look down in there, there's a little knob that sticks up kind of like that with a little... And if you push it, it should open... Well, I had this one open already. But the idea of it is in case your cable... Yeah, there it goes. In case it ever breaks, you can push down on this little lever here and it will automatically release your saddlebag. So that's what you'll do if you're in a pinch and then the cable breaks. Trust me, whenever I had mine... But when I first bought mine, someone had cut the cables because they didn't know how to take the saddlebags off. So they cut the cables so they can get the saddlebags off. And let me tell you, don't cut your cables. Don't do that. It's a bad idea. 
they cost an arm and a leg to replace luckily we had a parts bike at the shop i worked at and we took we pretty much <laughs> took everything off of it and put it on here part little parts like that all right so let me get this saddlebag cleaned out and then we'll start taking it apart next thing we need to do is we need to take this off all right and there should be four phillips screws i don't know if you can see it but they're um right here one right there and then a couple that are evenly spaced and then this cover will come down and it should able to be pulled back out and everything now when we put it back together we'll have to be careful because this this part can be a little bit hard trying to line it up with all the tabs and everything you'll see what i mean when i take it off so let me get the four screws out and then we'll yank this thing off once you get all the four screws out this thing with a little wiggling will just come right off and i do mean a little wiggling now let me show you guys something you see these little tabs here you see them there there and then you you got to slide that in that fits in a certain spot let's see if i can show you well some of these tabs are broken but you can see where they go right in there and that will end was where the end tab will slide into there all right this is very important so that we can get our saddle bag out as you can see it clears the top of our saddle bag with it out all right all right the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take out these three bolts right here uh, let me go there we go i'm pointing just them right there this is for your light and everything so we can disconnect the plug for these um so we can move the saddle bag out now if your model doesn't have the lights it has a reflector you may not have to worry about this but i still think you got to take the light out so you can get it so all the, the wires can hang down and that way you can move the saddle bag out so i'm going to remove these three they're eight millimeters and then we should be able to move to the next step once you got the bolt nuts off you can pull the light right out yeah there it goes and you can see what we got here all right, as you can see, these lights on the side are an add-on. They're an add-on thing. That's why they're all spliced in there like this. But what we need to do is go ahead and take this plug off and everything so we can be free and it won't be in our way when we try to take it off here. So let me get this plug off. Once you got the plug off, you can just leave this right here for right now. It won't hurt anything, but it'll be easier to come off and just put that off to the side. All right. Next thing we do is we can take the, um, the carpet out and the tool bag. I remember. There we go. Take that off and everything. Okay, and that comes off now. I guess the next thing we should probably do is cover the cable. How to get the cable out? All right. You see this little white thing in here? This thing just pops off. Let me see if I can get it to come right off. There it goes. As you can see, there's where it is. And if you look, the cable just kind of slips on it. Let me see if I can get it out and kind of show you how it guys comes out. All right, that's how it stays in there. You just gotta turn it. You might need a screwdriver just to kind of help give it a push. But anyway, you can, so let me, uh, it doesn't want to come out willingly. Nothing really wants to come out willingly today. It is just that type of day. I'll show you guys here in just a second how that works. So let me get a screwdriver and kind of help push it out a little bit. Okay, here's that little plastic clip I was showing you. I didn't need a screwdriver, I just took two hands and it came right off. But I want to show you how it goes. When you got it on the connected on the bar here, the cable will be right here. So when I undid it, you need to come it, you just push it down and then just wiggle it out. As you can see, it just slides right out there. You may need one hand on this and one hand on the cable and just kind of help wiggle it out and it will come out. Do not lose this. These are hard to replace and everything. These are the little stuff knickknacks that I had to go find whenever I got mine because they were gone. Joy. Okay. Now if you look in there, we still got the cable. It's still... Uh, it might not... might have to get a light in here. All right. Hold up. Let's see if I get this bar out of the way. Okay. There you go. These things right here see they squeeze together and you should be able to push them out and everything they just you just got to kind of squeeze them together and they'll just push and the cable should push out there it goes as you can see I just pushed it right out and there it goes now that's good we can leave it like that now when we go to put it back on we may preset it in there so we don't have to worry about that but for right now that's fine now we're gonna concentrate on getting these bolts off right here 
And if you notice, they got special washers on them with little rubber garments on them. As to help, the, you know, from keep the, tearing up the plastic, you know, when they get old and brittle and not to be so hard. And a good little seal, too. So I think there's five of them. There's one there. One there. Okay. I'm not sure if that needs to come out. We'll find out in a minute. All right. These need to come out. All right. And we got... That is for the... I think that was for my uh, air horn, I think. Or some extra add-on stuff someone put in here. So anyway, let's, so let's take all these bolts out. And then we should be able to wiggle the saddlebag front. Once you get all the bolts out, this thing should be ready to come out. Let's see, there it comes. Make sure you don't get caught up on anything. And then... Voila, look at that. We got to it. Move your saddlebag over here to the oof. Yep, if it'll stay up on its own. Hang on, folks. Okay, now that we got our saddlebag off, and that was really nothing to it, let's look at our brakes. The whole point of taking the saddlebag off. All right, as we can see, we've got a little bit of meat left on. I don't know how good you guys can see, but we still got some meat left on them. They look to be wearing okay, so we're good there. Although I think the next time I change my tires, I may go ahead and put some new brakes on it. Now, for those of you who are watching this video for the, um, see if you learn how to do your brake change, it's nothing to it from right here on. You just take these two bolts off, or hang on, one here, I think this one right here, and it'll come off just like a regular. Replace the pad, you'll have to push the piston back in and then put them back on and, and put everything back together. Now, for those who are taking the tire off, you'll have to take off the other saddlebag, and then you'll put this, take this centerpiece off, and everything. It's not very hard. It's not hold on by very much. A few screws and everything. I think the license plate bolts are part of the mounts, too, and everything. And you don't need to remove the trunk or anything to take the rear tire off. You'll just need to unloose the safety nut here and everything, and then... You You'll have to break the nut over there, and then once you get it free, you should be able to pull it out. And then if you have the regular factory center stand, you should have no problem getting the rear tire out. You'll have to um, maybe take a little pry bar or something in here that once you get it broke free a little bit to kind of wiggle it out. You might take, I think you got to take all this off. This, yeah, you got to take off this bracket and everything if you want to change a tire. I do believe, I think. Anyway, it's not that hard. And eventually when I get a chance to do it and when we get ready to change this tire, I will do a video on that But it's not but anyway, this will get you started anyway if you're trying to change a tire And everything it's very simple. It's not that hard. It's just a little time-consuming like everything else on this bike All right Now that we got it off. We've checked our brakes. Everything's good. We can start putting it back together. I know <laughs> And everything and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the saddlebag and everything and we'll we'll line it up there and then we'll go ahead and push the cable through on the hole so that way when it where the hole is it should be up right there it goes right in there and what we'll do and let me show you what this cable right here as you can see it there it is they, they just squeeze in see the little squeezing tabs they just squeeze right in Okay, I got the saddle bag up here, and I'm just about ready to put the cord back in the cable here, and I just want to show it to you. Once you get in the hole there, get it lined up, get it to go in there. I may need to push the, the bag. There we go. It just pushes right in there. If it would cooperate, there. Yep. Yep. There it goes. You can hear it snap right in. The cable's in there. We'll get it attached later. But right now, let's line up our saddle bag. Okay. Let's see what we got going here. Not quite lined up. There we go. You can see that the holes are starting to line up. Okay, so let me line up the saddlebag here, and then we'll be ready to put our bolts back in. When you're lining up your saddlebag here, make sure that you got these tabs going into these slots just correctly and everything. And make sure that this is right here, this middle piece is, you know, there, this piece right here is right there. And it goes all up in there. Good. I'll get it there in a little bit. But make sure it all slides in. All right. That's looking good. That looks good. We can see the bolt hole. Yes, yeah, so all the bolt holes are lined up. Once you see that all the bolt holes are lining up, go ahead and go ahead and put your um, 
bolts in. You may need to do some fine adjusting later once you get it started, but as long as you get all of them started, it should go pretty good. Make sure when you're putting the bolts back in the saddlebag that you've got your little washer and the rubber that go on it. Very important that you use the rubber. Very important. Once you got all the bolts tightened up, you can go ahead and put your light back on. Make sure you re-plug it back in, and then we'll just put her back on. Once you got the light all tightened up, let's work on the cable here. Let's see, where is she? Da, 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 there she is. All right, let's get that all hooked up. Okay, we're gonna drop the cable in like that, then we just turn it and then it should lock and snap it to the bar and there should be nothing to it. Uh, once you got the cable on, you can just snap that to the bar and honestly it just, boom, snaps on like that and you are good to go there. All right, in fact, you can actually, let's see if I can work the trigger here. You can probably see it. Yeah, there it goes. There it goes, it's working. We got that all fixed up and everything. All right, let's go ahead and put our inside guts back in so I can go ahead and close up this saddle bag. Now that we've got everything back in there, we can go ahead and close this up. Yeah, scratches, scratches, scratches. Oh, it's old bike. All right, we're almost done. We just got a few more pieces. Now to put this piece back on. All right, so let me grab that. All right, the best way I do with these pieces is you go ahead and start with this little circle right there. I'm gonna try to do this one-handed and see if you can see. Okay, get it in the hole there. And then once you get it in there, you can kind of move the plastic and voila, she goes right back in. Now we can put our two screws in right there and right there and then put our covers on and then this will be done. Okay, we've got our screws back in, so now we can just pop our little cup trim covers in there. We've got one more. Yep, there we go. Go ahead and put that in there. Make that look nice and pretty. And I do need to wash this thing really bad. You can see all the road dust and everything. Okay, before we put our side cover on, let's get this piece back on. Now, this part can be a little bit of trying sometimes to get it all lined up. It's not hard to say. It's just getting it all lined up and get it to stay there while you screw it up there. So everything so let me get it all ready and I'll kind of help help you guys show you how it goes back up in there all right guys once you get the piece kind of started what you want to do is start with these two ends in here on both sides they got little tits or little things that stick out but you try to get in there and once you can you want to make sure you can get it all stay up there the things should line up and we'll come over to the other side here as you can see it's not quite getting there we go Sometimes they should, once those tabs go into those slots that I showed you earlier, they should stay up there on their own. And then all you got to do is just screw them in and then it'll be good. All right, now that it's screwed in, it's staying in place for the most part, we can go ahead and put the screws in. All right, and it should be just fine. So let me get the screws and put them in. Okay, once you got all the pieces screwed in, just double check, make sure everything is in line. Sometimes these things can jump out a little bit. Everything looks good. Yeah, everything's all good. About as good as it's gonna get for as old as she is. And everything, so we're on to the final piece here, and let's put her on. All right, just line up the little tits and everything, push it in. Yep, almost, there it goes, bam. And guess what? There it is, popped in. We are done. All right, guys. And that's how you do it. That's how you change your saddlebag or take your saddlebag off. Nothing to it, real easy. It took us less than an hour, and that was with me filming. So we that is really easy. So if you ever want to check your brakes or you know, or change your brake pads, that is how you do it. Take off the saddlebag and everything. And I hope this video will help you out. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe and everything. Our next milestone here, we're going to try to go shoot for a thousand. I know I like, I like to aim high. Shoot for, shoot big. That's it's either go big, go, what is it? Yeah, go big or go home. So that's what we're doing. We're shooting for next, another milestone there, a thousand subscribers and everything. And if you guys have any questions or anything I wasn't clear about in the video, please feel free to comment. I will get back to you. And I will try to help you out. If you're having any other problems, gold wing related or anything, if you need some help on, 
like I said, comment, shoot me a message, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible I can. All right, guys, this is going to do it today and for another Gold Wing video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you again for another video and everything. So stay safe when you're out there riding, guys, and we will catch you later.